Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. I don't know how to introduce you. Shall I introduce you as like a, a unified influencer champion now? Um, I guess something like that. We the champ. We the new champ champs, baby. We the new champ champs. We got two now. We got two. We the first ones on Misfits to have two belts. Oh, well, besides KSI, he had, he's the first one to fight for two belts. We had two fights in one night, but. Other than KSI, I'm the first one with two belts on me. Let's get it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, let, let's talk about your fight. Last night, you obviously what you did last night was probably the, the, the fight of the night. Everyone's told you that already. Um, I'll start off with the, the beginning of the fight. I, mean, I saw some of your interviews last night and you said it's the most nervous you felt. So just try and explain to all your followers and your fans who have been watching you over the years, like why, why did you feel more nervous last night? You know, um, most of the time I fought, it was usually like for business, you know, like it was a business, you know, like it's business, we fight, you know, boxing reasons, but this one was so personal, you know, like, this is a build up since June, like, if you guys know the storyline in June, how he jumped me and damaged my eye, my family saw this and, uh, like, the build up for this was just different, like, you know, it was very, it was ino the animosity every single day, like, during the weigh-in, during the, the press conference, during the... During the, during the open workout, like every day we was getting like to, into some kind of scuffle behind the scenes, you know, like, and this is stuff people don't really see on camera, like the scuffles, we, like the little head to heads arguments and like the blood, my blood was boiling every single day just seeing the guy, bro. So the, the fact that we handled it one on one like men, you know, I banged it out with him, bro, and got the dub, I, I'm just happy with it, man. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself and I getting the KO, honestly, because I expect more from myself. But end of the day, you know, like if I'm being realistic, that guy's he came in 20 pounds heavier than me, you know, like he weighed in at 178, I weighed in at 169, but that's him starving himself. And then when he rehydrated, probably came in at 190, you know, I mean, he fought in his last fight at 190 pounds, you know, that's, that weight difference is massive. And that's the reason he was able to take as much punishment. I still dropped him in the second round. I still gave him a lot of damage and I still went to war with him. And I, I, I still got to respect his toughness at the end of the day, so. It's good to open up about that because a lot of your, your fans and followers are probably watching you thinking you're just going to come in, do your thing, but... You're human as well, so you felt the nerves. Um, but what were you experiencing? Was it butterflies or your legs feeling a bit like heavy or? You know this, every single fight I had, I was the B-side fighter. This is the first time I was the A-side fighter and I had like people cheering for me. I had people messaging, like counting on me. Like, you know, I had, bro, I had, like, I got a little, I had a little video from these young Yemeni kids in the boxing gym. Like, yo, uh, like, like, they're screaming out, we wish you the best of luck this Saturday night, inshallah. Yeah, they're like, you know, like, it was a bunch of Yemeni kids by the boxing ring. It was so beautiful to see, man. I was like, wow, like, I'm seeing all these little videos right before I go out, and then I seen all these tweets, you know, like, everybody expected me to knock them out. And I'm like, wow, like, you know, like, it's the first time I'm on the A side, you know? So that's what, that's what kind of made it a little bit nerve-wracking because I'm used to being the underdog and like that's the kind of mentality I always went, out, went in with. But, you know, um, I, took, I harnessed that energy and I, I made it to help me perform uh, to the best of uh, my abilities. I did tell you, didn't I, Sheffield's got a large Yemeni community and they obviously turned out to, to watch you last night. Uh, let's talk about your ring walk. You chose, you chose Call Me Baby. Most people, most of your fans probably would have wanted you to come out to something hip, hop, rap, yeah. but you completely turned the tables. Uh, you know, everybody, everybody always comes out to like something that amps them up. But I, I, I like to come in something that puts me in a, in a good vibe. I don't know. I came out last last fight. I came out to uh, uh, making my way downtown, and like people loved it. So I came out to call maybe it's another banger, and I switched it out to Return of the Mac, which is also like I like I, I like old school music for some reason. Like you know, it's a good vibe, man. But people enjoy the wing rocks. That's that's all, it's all about entertainment at the end of the day, you know. That's it. The last fighter to come out to return of the Mac was Tyson Fury in the, uh, I think, on, the, on his comeback fight against uh, Wilder. Uh, round two. Let's talk about round two. Round two has already done 250k views on the Zone's uh, YouTube channel. It's probably going to do a million. Just talk to him about round two. You hurt him early on, then he came back. Probably the most adversity you've, you've, adversary you have felt in the ring? Um, well, I, I felt adversity like that in, a, in sparring, but in, in, a, in a real fight. Uh, that was the most, but like, you know, I, I was comfortable, but you know, like he, he was coming forward, he was throwing his body on top of me. He, he landed one good hook on me, but you know, I, I took everything, I took, I took the punishment, and uh, I still, you know, I, I, just, I got into defense mode. He kept just, one thing he kept doing was throwing his entire body weight on me, you know what I mean? And that was a good, it's a good thing too, when you're a bigger guy, it's a smarter thing to do. And uh, it was like trying to carry this big ass body, but you know, um, I did my thing, you know, I still, I felt like I still won every single round. I dropped, that second round, I dropped him. But you know, like end of the day, like uh, when he, uh, it was a good experience. It's a great, it's a great learning experience because you know, like every other fight I had was a knockout. This one, I went the distance. So like, 
I know I know how it is like to now like what to do now like in, in future fights because like this fight I felt like I was fishing too much for the KO like I was throwing every punch I was throwing was with, 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 with bad intentions mm -hmm. instead of like if I try to box him I would have not been touched I felt like if I like use boxing ability just you know one two get out the, get out the way just jab him jab him I was beating with the jab every single time so I should have just stick to my bo uh, just boxing him you know instead of but I really wanted that highlight KO but it's all good it's learning experience at the end of the day you got to highlight real knockdown though, because that's doing the views and the way you dropped a bigger man is quite is quite entertaining to, to watch. Round three, you came out. Obviously, you burnt a lot of energy in round two. I think round three was probably where you had to show your nuts. What's the word for nuts in Yemeni? Oh, nuts, man. My Arabic's pretty bad, bro. Yeah. Oh, quite, quite. I think yeah. <laughs> you had to show them cojones, as they say in, uh, in the yeah. US. Yeah, yeah, man. I had to, I had to uh, show them guts, man. You know it is, bro. Yo, he kept coming forward. I gotta respect it. You know, I was hitting him with some hard shots. Toughness. I feel like no one in my weight division would take those kind of punches. You know, no one would take those kind of punches. He he took them. He, he but I seen in his face like he was dazed. He was gushing blood. There's one moment where he spit blood in, like Triple H. You know how Triple H spits his water. He spit blood at me like like during the fight. I was like, what what is what is going on, bro? Like, I don't know, man. But yeah, at the end of the day, I'm just ha I'm happy we we settled like man and we squashed the beef. You know, like I, I like that's one thing I wanted to teach the kids. You know, because a lot of people be beefing for stupid things. And uh, they resort to gun violence. They resort to stabbing each other. You know, we sort we sorted out with the gloves on, like men in the ring. That's 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 the real man way. You know, because you live to fight another day, end of the day. Definitely, uh, Slim. And ev everyone keeps chucking names at you, KSI. I've even seen people chucking Jake Paul at you. He's ridiculously heavier. That's very unrealistic unless he yeah. is going to burn a lot of weight. Uh, the fight I'm I'm looking at weight wise that could be you and the headline fight is Anderson Gibb. Yeah, that, that's a fight that's been like a lot. It's been in talks for many years. You know, tw since 2020, me and him were supposed to fight. 2020, uh, we were signed. He held me. He made me wait on a contract for six months, and then he ended up fighting someone named Taylor Holder on the Social Clubs event. Um, but you know, like he's doing his thing. He 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 had the big uh, he had the big win on uh, Taylor Holder. He fought Austin McBroom. Beat uh, Austin McBroom. I I then go on fighting Temper. He says he wanted the winner of Slim versus Temper. I knocked out Temper. He disappeared. He knocked out Austin McGroom right after that, and then I just had my fight today. I go the distance. Uh, I go distance. I win, but I went I won unanimously actually. And uh, he tweets. He's like, oh, uh, he tweeted today saying, um, what do you he say? He's like, yo, he'll give everybody on Misfits a run for their money or something like that. And I was like, I tweeted him today, and I was like, yo, then let's run it in January. If you feel, if you really believe that, we can run it in January. Like you know, like it's it's not. I have no hatred to the guy. I respect him a lot. You know, like I see, I see me and Gabe like as like someone that's that are very similar. Like he's underestimated. I was underestimated, but uh, now like we're, I feel like our, our 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 roads are like colliding right now, and we gotta find out who the top dog is. You know. Do you not think that's probably a headline fight rather than being on an undercard? And would it be in the U.S. or U.K.? Um, I think if we do in the UK, it would definitely be a headline fight. Like me and Gabe will definitely do numbers in the UK because I'm I'm really well known out here in the UK. He's well known out here in the UK. That would be do numbers. But yeah, I, I, to fight on that American card will be sick too because you know Logan Paul is gonna be on there, KSI is gonna be on there. It's gonna be a sick. It's gonna be a sick event. But I, you're right though. I think me and Gabe headlining our own fight would be even more better because to me be a headline. That's like my dream. Honestly, I want to headline a fight one day. Inshallah. Good man. And just to wrap up. Would it be fair to call you maybe the Deontay Wilder bronze bomber of influencer boxing? Hey, yo, that, that's a, I'll take that as a compliment. I love, Deontay Wilder is actually one of my favorite fighters, you know? But Deontay Wilder, he, he knocked out every single opponent. Like, literally, he had like 40-something like, like K. Like, for, like, Did you fight last night? Huh? He knocked, I think he knocked out on the first round, right? Oh, my God. I was supposed to go to that fight in Brooklyn. I was supposed yeah. to go to that fight, man. Oh, man, what a... Deontay Wilder, like, man, he brings excitement to boxing for me. Like, he's someone I always watch him fight. And uh, to be compared to him of the influencer boxing scene, that's, that's, yo, I'll take it, bro. I'll take it, man. Yeah. Shout out Deontay Wilder, man, the bomb squad. <laughs> well, Libra, that's Slim. I'll let you sign out. Um, and Slim, a.k.a. the bronze bomber of inf influencer boxing. Hey, man. Stop. Yo, you're gassing me up right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Hey, we out here. Peace, brother.